Every night for more than 18 years, Dave Berg co-produced The Tonight Show, starring Jay Leno. During those years, Dave booked some of Late Night's most memorable guests, including the first sitting president ever to appear on a late night talk show. In his book, Behind the Curtain, Dave reveals his life behind the scenes at America's favorite late night talk show and the challenges of living out his Christian beliefs in this iconic Hollywood setting. You started off as a news producer and you ended up becoming a producer with The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. How did that even come about? Well, sometimes bad things happen to you, but you, but, but things turn out. And in this case, I, I had been working for NBC News as a producer for about 10 years, and they let me go. They, they fired me, I guess. And around that time, I, um, I had noticed that this new show was moving in down the hallway from me, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. And I was so excited about that, I called my wife and I said, hey, You'll never guess what happened. I just saw Jay Leno walking in this office. The show wasn't on the air yet. And she said, that's wonderful, honey. So what are you going to do after we're done talking on the phone? And I thought she was just telling me to get on the phone and start looking for work, right? <laughs> and she said, what you're going to do, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to go down to that office and you're going to apply for a job. <laughs> and I thought, are you kidding? This is the most iconic entertainment show in America? I don't think so. But she called me every hour on the hour until I went down and applied for that job. And of course, you got the job. Yes. And being a Christian in an environment like The Tonight Show, where you have a lot of different people with value, different value systems and ideas, how did you walk that fine line of maintaining your Christian values, but not alienating a lot of people? It really is a fine line. It certainly is, as you've pointed out. Uh, and I think um, my best approach, I think, is, is to be uh, sort of lead by example. Uh, you put it out there that you're a Christian, but, but never be too preachy. And uh, my wife always tells me, she says, uh, look, uh, when you rant, uh, it, it's not pretty. And, and she's right. Sometimes when I get on a soapbox and start making a point, it's really obnoxious. So she said, you can go on and rant if you want, but the next time you rant, you have to smile. <laughs> and that's all what, what she was saying is, don't start preaching to people. It doesn't work when you do it. Well, I know you had to have some conversations because Jay says in the foreword of your book that he enjoyed your spirited debates. So even with your, your boss, you had yeah. these debates. How did that go over with him at times? Uh, I think he enjoyed it uh, a lot. I think he looked forward to it. And I think sometimes he would, he would take a position uh, on, on a topic mm -hmm. just to be opposite from me so he could get me riled. One of my favorite stories in the book is when you had to follow NBA star Dennis Rodman. And I think it's well known that he does not show up on time for <laughs> events. So you were sent to make sure he showed up on time. And he invited you to go to a strip bar. <laughs> How did you respond to that with, with respect, you know, without offending him? How did you respond to him? Well, I think Dennis was messing with me. He knew, he knew my background a little bit also. And I just said, you know, Dennis, that's something I don't do. And I said, by the way, this is September 24th. It's my anniversary, my wedding anniversary. I don't think, so. oh, well, she's not going to know. Come on, you have, come on, you got to come with us. And I just said, you know, I just don't do that, Dennis. I, I just don't. One of the, the biggest things I would say that you did was landed the first sitting president to come to ever come to any tonight, any late night talk show, President Barack Obama. How were you able to pull that off? It took me five years to um, to get that booking. And I, by the way, I think it was Jay's crown jewel. I think that's what he will most be remembered for. For the everyday person, why mm -hmm. was that such a big deal to have him there? That's actually a very good question, because I think uh, it, it, today, this was in 2009, by the way. At that time, it was considered unpresidential. It was considered undignified. Mm -hmm. No other president had done it. Not Bill Clinton, not George Bush, not Ronald Reagan, not Richard Nixon. None of them had done it. So that's why it was a, a big coup for us. The Tonight Show with Jay Leno stayed number one for years. 
What do you, what was, what did you think, and what did Jay think was the secret to his success? I think the reason that we were successful as a show is, I attribute all to Jay Leno, by the way. But I think the reason he did so well is he took the words show business and he put equal value on show and business. Mm. Most people in show business emphasize the show part. They don't look at the business part. And, but Jay did, and, and I mean that in a, in a very uh, serious way. For instance, it was very important for him to test his comedy material. When he did stand up around the country, he would test jokes on people from all different parts of the country. Oh, this joke is going over with people, but this joke isn't going over mm -hmm. with people. And the other thing that we did is we would study the ratings, the demographics and the ratings after each and every show. Uh -huh. And so what would you say to a Christian who's working in media like you and they find themselves struggling between their faith and the environment? What advice would you have for them? I think my advice is, is, is almost going to sound trite, but just hang in there and, and don't be afraid to push ahead and let people know who you are. I find that people have respect for you if, you, if you're honest about who you are. And again, at least in my case, more sh showing who you are by example rather than being preachy. Mm. 